30 bizarre Canadian facts even locals don't know. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Aussie Tash. I love doing these videos. I find out so many interesting things about Canada and even you guys find out some things about your beautiful, beautiful country that you didn't know. So really excited. These facts are supposed to be bizarre. Let's get into them. Let's see how bizarre they are. 30 bizarre Canadian facts even locals don't know. Let's roll. You know, it seems like almost every country in the world has at least one law that baffles foreigners to no end, and Canada is no exception. Did you just say I can't fill my bathtub with more than three and a half inches of water when taking a bath? Yep, that's Canada. But wait, there's more to come. On the Canadian island that? Newfoundland, a cow can't be your pet, even if you've been dreaming of it your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so, while it's not illegal to own a cow, okay. keeping it in your home is a strict no-no. In Sudbury, Ontario, you can attach sirens to your bike. Otherwise, you'll have to pay a fine of a whopping $5,000. I can see why. At the same why. time, horns and bells are perfectly okay. Yeah. So, um, does that mean that there used to be people with sirens on their bikes? In the town of Soros on Prince Edward Island, there's a law that prohibits you from building a snowman that's taller than 30 inches. <laughs> well, I see their point. Big snowmen are spooky. Okay, all right. So the snowman thing, that's really strange. Why can't you build a really tall snowman? What's the rule about that? <laughs> that does seem bizarre. And how do they moderate how much water you're putting in your bathtub? And in Australia, man, you've got to pay for water. Um, so yeah, we don't tend to have a lot of baths here in Australia. Well, I know in our house we don't because you just go through so much water, man. So baths aren't really a thing. I, I don't really like baths. A lot of houses in Australia, you know, it's good to have a bath when you're selling your house. It, you know, it does wonders for the price of your house. But a lot of people, they just cover it over, like with a wooden thing. They cover it over and they dress it up and they put shelves on it. So, you know, you can store your towels and all your bathroom accessories. The bath doesn't even get used. So, yeah. In Etobicoke, Ontario, what? people seem to be a little too worried about bathtub safety. Thus, according to the local law, you can enjoy more than three and a half inches of water in your bathtub. Well, we're just saying hmm. this. How do they enforce that? Do That's they what break I have into discuss. your bathroom and measure it? Yeah. If you ever visit the Canadian province of Alberta, do not paint a wooden ladder. It's against the law. What? And in the town of Oshawa in Ontario, you can't climb a tree. Otherwise, you'll have big problems with the authorities. Also, you can't hang swings or a hammock on a tree's branch. Victoria, British Columbia has an inexplicable rule of its own. Here, street entertainers aren't allowed to give children animals made of balloons. Well, they shouldn't well, be able to either. Sense. No, in they shouldn't Canada, be able to. In Canada, the city of Fredericton, you can't leave home while wearing your pet snake on your neck or holding your pet lizard in your hands. If you want to take your snake or any other reptile for a walk, be so kind as to put it in a glass container. Okay, so in Australia, I don't know if it's the same in Canada, but in Australia, you need to have a license to have a pet snake or a pet lizard. That's just how it goes. And there's got to be special cages and stuff and special ways that you keep them inside your house. Um, you can't take your snake for a walk. That's that's all sorts of creepy, man. Ooh. Why you ever want to have a pet snake? That's just even more creepier, even more bizarre. Um, you shouldn't be able to give balloons to kids general. I am absolutely petrified of balloons. The sound of them popping just gives me chills. So yeah, balloons at parties, no, it shouldn't be a thing. Balloons are terrifying. Balloons and clowns are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> now, are you going to the supermarket with the hope of getting rid of some change? No. Hold your horses or keep them outside. In Canada, there are limits as to how many coins you can use while paying for stuff. I've heard this one, yeah. In particular, you can pay up to $25 in loonies, which are Canadian <laughs> $1 coins, $5 oh. in nickels, and only 25 cents in pennies. If you decide to work as a cab driver in Halifax, never, do you hear me, never wear a t-shirt and a pair of shorts what? while inside the car. 
Why? The thing is that all the cab drivers in Nova Scotia's capital must wear some sort of uniform. A shirt with a collar what? and long sleeves and ankle-length pants. If it gets too hot, all you're allowed is a pair of dress shorts that covers your knees. So there. All right, that is really, really bizarre. Does it apply for Uber drivers as well? How many taxis do you actually see out there on the road these days? Not many. Um, I was in the city a couple of weeks ago in the Brisbane CBD and I've seen taxis everywhere, but we're about 45 minutes away from the city. You hardly see taxis anymore. You just see cars that have Uber stickers all over them. In Australia, we don't use cash a lot these days. Ever since COVID, cash has just been really, really phased out. I work at Woolworths. I've told you guys this a few times. A couple of weeks ago, 20 stores across the country. I think Woolworths has about a 1,000 stores. 20 stores across the country went down for the whole day and you could only use cash. The store that I work at was one of those particular stores. Now, fortunately for me, I wasn't working on that day. Thank gosh, but oh my gosh. In a country where it's digital, digital, digital pay, <laughs> what do you do when you can only use cash? Where do you go? We have cashless banks these days. So you can't even walk into a bank and say, oh, I'd like to get out some cash. You need to use the ATMs. Now, man, I have had so many troubles with these ATMs because you've got to put the cash in the ATMs too. But man, it spits them out if they're bent and you get paranoid that, you know, it's going to spit some amount out, but not all of it. It's bizarre. I don't like it at all. I don't like cashless banks. In the comments, let me know, guys, is cashless banks something that's happened in Canada? Cashless banks. Now just stop and have a think about how stupid that terminology is. <laughs> if you decide to paint a garage door in Canada, which is one of the largest suburbs of Ottawa, Canada. use any color but purple. Try this color and you'll be fine. Why? Now, once it was illegal to throw snowballs in Esquimalt, British Columbia. <laughs> However, nowadays, you can start a snow fight there without looking over your shoulder all the time. Could it be that the police just got fed up with arresting kids? Maybe. Now, be careful if you're a teenager wearing lace-up shoes on Main Street in Fort Quaapel in Saskatchewan. There, teens can't have untied shoes. Otherwise, they or their parents will have to pay a fine. Okay, well, there's an easy solution to that, isn't it? Just buy the lace-free shoes. That's what all the kids these days are wearing, like the Velcro shoes. They don't have laces. Mate, I bet you half these kids would have absolutely no idea how to tie up a shoelace. Me, I could only do like, you know, the, the rabbit ear ones. I couldn't do the fancy one. I just couldn't get it through my head. But yeah, man, I reckon half the kids these days would have no idea how to tie up their shoes. So, yeah. Now, one Canadian law that dates back to the 1940s declares it's illegal to own, print, or sell comics that mention any criminal act. Um, That's well, what I mean. Doesn't that mean that literally all superhero comic books were prohibited in Canada? Didn't you guys if you live Superman in the town of London, Ontario, make sure that you take good care of your lawn. Once the grass grows eight inches tall, oh. immediately mow the lawn. Otherwise, <laughs> the city authorities will come and mow it for you. Oh. But then you'll have to spend a fortune paying the bill they'll send you. Okay, how about this one? In Ottawa, it's illegal to eat ice cream on Bank Street on Sundays. Why? Yep, any other day of the week or any other street, and you're good to enjoy your cold treat. But Bank Street on a Sunday? Careful, you're breaking the law. Okay, so what is so special about Bank Street in Ottawa? Is it a street that's just full of banks? <laughs> Why can't you eat ice cream there? Are these still fed income true blue laws? <laughs> they do seem incredibly bizarre. Oh my gosh, just out of this world sort of bizarre stuff. In Vancouver from 1947 to 1986, you weren't allowed to sell stoves within city limits on Wednesdays. Just, you know, don't ask, okay? That's not don't a thing try anymore, to impress but... your friends while performing bike tricks in Ottawa. Taking your feet off the pedals while you're riding a bike is prohibited by law. So no okay, BMX the next biking rule was in probably Ottawa? created especially for Santa Claus. 
In Ontario, you can't drive your sleigh along the highway without a minimum of two bells attached to the harness of the horse. Fact okay. <laughs> How many people actually dress up as Santa and have a sleigh in Canada and drive their sleigh or ride their sleigh or whatever down the street? <laughs> <laughs> that really does seem bizarre and crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you guys taking the piss with some of these bizarre things? I really don't know. In the comments, guys, let me know, please. <laughs> one, pennies aren't used in Canada anymore. No. Fact two, if you deface one, your actions will still be considered a crime. Well, of course it so, is. So no scratching, drilling yeah. holes, or leaving them on a railway track to be flattened by a train. You Got can't that? deface currency. You can't. It's in illegal. Charlottetown on Prince Edward Island, you can't ring anyone's doorbell or knock at other people's doors as a joke. It's prohibited no. by law. It should be as well. Make sure not Bloody to remove kids. a Band-Aid in a public place in Canada. There's a law prohibiting it. It's you it's scab you. In yeah. Wawa, Ontario, Wawa. avoid public displays of affection on Sundays. It's illegal. <laughs> Admittedly, you can interpret PDA in different ways. But just in case, no kissing or cuddling <laughs> on Sunday. In Uxbridge... Avoid public displays of affection on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, because you're taking your kids for a walk. You're taking your kids out for a family walk. You know, you've got the dog, you've got the baby in Australia, you've got the, the toddler and the holding their hands. They don't need to see that sort of stuff. Get a room on a Sunday or something. <laughs> John Terrio, you probably won't be able to watch your favorite movie on Netflix. The problem is the internet speed. Oh. According to local law, it can't be faster than 56K. A bit faster and you're an offender. In For Australia, comparison, we, don't even reach we used to that have fast. that internet speed in the 1990s in the era of dial-up modems. Avoid scaring the queen in Canada. Otherwise, yeah. you'll get arrested. Okay. Boo. Oh, sorry, your majesty. There is a point in the criminal code of Canada where it is illegal to offend a place with a bad smell. What? Probably no finger pulling there. Didn't some guy in England just get arrested for plotting to kill Queen Elizabeth like three or four years ago? <laughs> you can't scare the Queen. It's illegal to scare the Queen. Well, I'm telling you right now, that Queen Camilla, she scares everybody. Have a go at her. Have a go at the hats she wears and the costumes she wears. She's one scary looking lady. <laughs> According to Canadian laws, not less than 35% yes. of all the content like broadcasted on the radio must be of Canadian mm -hmm. origin. However, it's only true from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. I'm going to pause the game really quickly. I love that law. I think that is really, really cool because you are embracing your musicians, your local musicians, and that is really, really cool. In Australia, we have so many cool bands, but they just get lost to, you know, to other bands, you know, like to American bands and stuff like that. Man, we have some great bands. Jump onto my Discord uh, and we talk about, you know, some really cool Australian bands. People want to know about our music, and we have some great ones. I'm sure you guys all know of, like, ACDC, Midnight Oil, Silver Chair, but there is so many more. Cold Chisel, Jimmy Barnes, John Farnham, Crowded House. The list is just long and long and long. So, yeah, I, I really do like that law. That's really cool. Now, don't pretend to be a person you aren't in Quebec. In particular, avoid impersonating a foreigner. It's illegal <laughs> and is punished with a fine. What? Until 1995 in Ontario, it was prohibited to sell yellow-colored margarine. What color is your margarine? a rational explanation. But of course, by keeping margarine white, producers tried to make this product look less appealing to people. Therefore, consumers were supposed to buy the prettier sun-colored butter. Yeah, buy the sun-colored one. You can't challenge people to a duel yeah, or accept an one. invitation to one in yeah. Canada. <laughs> if only Alexander Hamilton had known about this. <laughs> when you I visit Calgary, Alberta, never ever buy, or sell for that matter, non-prescription contact lenses when at a costume shop. It's prohibited by law. Okay. If you buy a house in Beaconsfield, Quebec, don't even try to paint it more than two colors. Otherwise, guess what? Right, you'll be fined. 
your house can be bright, but only one or two colors max. In St. Paul, Alberta, it's illegal for kids younger than 15 to be in public places without a parent or guardian. I like that. From 12.01 a.m. until 6 a.m. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, at least you don't have to worry about your little ones sneaking out at night. That's not going to stop them from sneaking out at night. They're teenagers. If they want to sneak out at night and just walk around the block, they're going to do it. I do like that law, but yeah, try and enforce it sometimes. You know, kids are going to be kids. I remember, you know, jumping out the back door, walking around with my friends. We're just harmlessly walking around the block. It's not like, you know, we're letting the air down off people's cars or still on their cars or nothing like that. But yeah, I can see why that's a law. There is some really strange, bizarre laws. Why, can, why can't you paint your house any more than two colours? I think that would look strange anyway. Like, yeah, it really would look very much out of place. So I can, I, I can understand that. But yeah, there is some bizarre things happening over here that they say, no, you can't do it. And that's cool. That's cool. It's illegal to use bad words in the public parks of Toronto. Nuff said. Hmm. In Montreal, you can't drive a car with a for sale sign on it. If you want to inform the world about your intentions, stop first. Put the sign in the window next. <laughs> Just Canadian pass, federal mate. aviation law Car prohibits science. you from leaving or entering the plane during flight. Luckily, there is one exception. If you want to make a parachute jump, you can, but only if the pilot allows you to do so. What? As for the impossibility of entering the plane mid-flight, well, I think you should try it anyways. No. Don't now, do think that. twice before stiffing a hotel in Ontario. According to the local law, the hotel has every right to sell your horse to return the lost money. Okay, in hold on. Don't you guys have to pay for accommodation in advance? Anyway, in Australia, you cannot book a single hotel, motel, Airbnb or whatever without paying for it in advance. So, yeah, I don't know how you do that. I'm pretty sure you guys would have to pay in advance over there. In the comments, let me know. Canada, it used to be illegal for non-dark soft drinks to contain caffeine. However, several God. years ago, things changed. Mm -hmm. And now you can have your daily portion of caffeine in your grape or orange soda. Everything and has still, caffeine in it. the level of caffeine in these drinks is lower than, let's say, in cola. Mm -hmm. Several Canadian communities once banned clotheslines because they simply didn't like how they looked. However, recently, most provincial authorities have lifted this ban. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. If you visit Oak Bay, British Columbia, with your talking parrot, make sure that it doesn't talk too loudly. Otherwise, you'll have to pay a $100 fine. <laughs> I don't care what Polly wants. Shut up. In Alberta, try to resist the temptation to set someone's wooden leg on fire. Now, I don't know why you would want to do this, but remember that it's prohibited by a particular law. And no, we're not kidding. Wow. Oh, my gosh. 30 plus. So, yeah, I said it wrong. I thought it was 30. That was 30 plus bizarre Canadian facts even locals didn't know. Guys, are, were you aware of all those facts? Did you find some of them bizarre? Some of them strange? There's some weird stuff going on there. Why would you want to try and jump into a plane mid-flight? How do you plan to get into the plane? I'm not quite too sure about that. And why would you want to jump out of it? Don't they have special planes for, you know, to go parachute jumping? And why would you want to do it? That's just absolutely crazy, man. You don't jump out of a flying plane. It's just weird. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Oh, Boosted saying hello. I think you can see Mazikeen's feet there in the background. But yeah, that was a really weird, strange video, guys. Thought we'd do something different. Throw something out there that you guys would find interesting. Learn some stuff about your country that you didn't know. Yeah, that was the video for today, guys. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers to Man Under. Take care. Bye.